So, what Martin did, I'm sure what happens. It's like turning this way. So, we covered this earlier in the week. If I start doing this, it's going to make, it's going to kill Matt's pendulum. Just come off the camera, so Jess. It's going to kill Matt's pendulum. The, the, the pendulum, the pendulum really, and like, I mean, I can keep my arm here, right? But this is completely different because I've changed my sprawl. My, my hip pressure is in this hip, right? So when you're, when you're set up on the bottom, yeah, you're trying to, you're, you're trying to figure out what you, what you need to do, right? And the partner shouldn't really be switching there. Wait, keep your little fingers together, boys. Yeah. So this is, we've created a connection here. So there's no, there's no space in here. So, I'm basically, when I'm doing this to begin with, if I'm chest to chest, I should really be kind of neutral, right? I should be neutral. And he starts working his hands to get his hands under this space here, right? So now I can make it heavy on his, on his arms. So this will start to kill his pendulum. So pendulum mat, I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's gonna make his pendulum hard because I'm on his hip line. And what the pendulum's doing is moving, moving the, the, the body along the hip line, okay? So what Matt wants to do here now is when I do this, notice that I no longer have my shoulder anywhere near his sternum. So the relationship of his sternum here to my sternum here is completely open. Okay, and the more I put my weight back, the more I open my shoulder. So what Matt needs to do here is, we're gonna ban the pendulum. He starts to bring his chin to his shoulder and his shoulder to my sternum. So get in the middle. Yep, and now he swings that back leg back. Yep, well, get up. And he begins getting up. So we're back to what we did earlier in the week. So, so that's the, 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 the basic idea here, is that he wants to put his shoulder into the middle of, well, I, I actually, I want my shoulder in the middle of his stern if I want to keep him down. So I don't, so what, what he's doing is he's playing, once he escapes his arms underneath my arm, even if I've got it on that hip, even before he gets on here, now there's a dual threat. Because the dual threat is that once his hands get into the underhook space, he's also beginning to bring his shoulder into my sternum. So now he becomes on the skinny X, he's creating this kind of threat of almost like a seesaw. But I don't know what he wants most. Because if I'm here and I push the shoulder down, back down, and I want to stop his shoulder getting in my sternum because he, can, he begins pushing me. You've switched your hands. Keep your hands on that side, yep. So I start to push this down. Now his pendulum starts to come back in because I'm not on his arms, which means I'm not on his hips. So as I push him now, now open your frames up. Just put your frames in. Yep, and now do your pendulum. Right, and he starts getting out. So he, he's, when he puts the hands inside my armpit here, yeah, even just that reaching of it, his shoulder begins to come to the middle. Now where do I go? Do I put my weight here or do I put my weight there? And there's the problem. That's me doing what you did, which is switching towards the thing. Now that, so this is what begins to happen. And the more I stay here, if I just keep back on here, he just starts to swing the leg, looks at his, yeah. Yeah, so sprawl that way to begin with and then we'll come back to what you were doing. Yeah, let's give it a go. 